reactions of aldehydes and ketones here we are discussing two reactions one is addition of hydrogen cyanide and another is addition of sodium bisulfite now first of all see addition of hydrogen cyanide so either aldehyde or ketone which is having a carbonyl group common you remember that the carbonyl group is always having partial positive charge and there is partial negative charge over oxygen you should know the ionic pattern in hydrogen cyanide hydrogen having positive and cyanide and having negative so obviously h will go to the oxygen and it will join there with the help of this lone pair or this pi bond and the cyanide is going to the carbonyl carbon so we get here addition product this is addition reaction so this addition product is called cyanohydrin so this cyanohydrin is very useful reaction very useful compound which is on hydrolysis use alpha hydroxy because this is alpha carbon so there is hydroxyl group so it is alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid so by using this reaction aldehydes or ketone can be converted to the alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid this is the application of this reaction now i have taken here one example which is very simple i have taken here acetaldehyde you can take even ketone so doing the same thing forget about the remaining part you have to focus only on carbonyl carbon on carbonyl group so h will obviously go to the oxygen cyanide will go to the cn sorry c and double bond will convert to the single bond so if you do that you get here cyanohydrin the name is also very simple if it is acetaldehyde it is acetaldehyde cyanohydrin again you if you hydrolyze this product you get here alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid so this is alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid which is very very popular which is lactic acid so this is a chiral carbon so in this way you can prepare lactic acid from acetaldehyde you remember like this so this is uh, the application of this reaction you can prepare alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid from the aldehyde and ketones next is addition of sodium bisulfite so this is sodium bisulfite remember this is sodium by sulfite so3 means sulfite now again doing the same thing you uh, remember the ionic pattern sodium having positive charge and this bisulfite having negative charge now this carbonyl carbon is having positive and oxygen having partial negative charge so you can join accordingly this bisulfite portion will go and join to the carbon double bond will open on oxygen and this sodium will go and join there so we get here again a very addition product this is addition product this addition product but very soon you can see here this is acidic portion acidic proton is there and there is a negative oxygen negatively charged oxygen which are very close so the h will transfer to the oxygen and sodium will go there so this is actually the final addition product so you remember this this is a general scheme of this reaction and now i have taken here one more aldehyde you can take even ketone and join accordingly sodium will go to the oxygen and this portion will go to the carbonyl carbon remove that double bond you get this addition product this addition product is now converted to this hydroxy compound by transferring proton from this so3h2o and ena will go there so we get here bisulfide compound so this is benzaldehyde so this is benzaldehyde sodium bisulfide so this is in fact all sodium bisulfide compounds of aldehyde and ketones are crystalline so crystalline so you can filter them so if you can filter them and you can separate them from other compounds so this is useful reaction to separate carbonyl compounds aldehyde and ketones from others so this is the application of this reaction thank you